G'day guys, Will Kitchen here. Welcome back to another video and thanks so much for joining us. Now hopefully this one is a helpful one for you. I'm actually up at Redcliffe today doing some land-based fishing for flathead in particular and whatever else comes along. This is just a bonus fish for me today. I've only got about 40 minutes or an hour to fish so I've just had to bring the boat up this morning to get a part fix at Brisbane Marine. So what we're doing is while I'm waiting for that I'm just going to have a bit of a fish. I've never fished here before. I just looked on Google Earth and found a nice bank here which I'll show you in a second that's shallow, runs out nicely and it's got some structure of sort of rocky weed just out from the bank here which Flathead absolutely love. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish through this video, hopefully catch a fish and I'm going to talk you through my technique of sort of the areas to fish, your technique when you're working the lure, what lures and jig heads to choose and uh, hopefully you'll see me fighting a fish as well. So anyway, I'll give you plenty of tips along the way. Stay tuned and keep your fingers crossed for me. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let's get straight into it. So as you can see here, guys, the bank comes out nice and sandy, which Flathead love to lay in. And then just out here, we have this rubbly rock going out about five or 10 meters. And it's got some nice weed on it up through here. Now, Flathead absolutely love to lay in sand patches next to structure. So they could be laying anywhere right along the edge of this here. And again, on the backside there. So what I'm going to be doing is casting into these sand patches out the back here and even along here because they could be flathead right up in the shallows and flicking this little soft plastic around trying to get one to bite. So as I said, I've only got a little while. I'm just going to walk along this beach here every few casts, take a few more steps and see what I can come up with. Now, my lure of choice here is just a paddle tail soft plastic. This one's a squidgy, but your Z-mans and everything like that will work. You can also use prawn imitations, especially if you're up in the creeks or fishing around weed beds. But that's about three inches long. And I think that two and a half to four inches is sort of perfect for your flathead fishing if you want to get numbers and you're not too worried about the size. Obviously, if you're fishing for those monster flathead, you can use bigger lures, but you'll still catch those on these as well. So I really like the paddle tails because they imitate a mullet or a little whiting or something perfectly and I've seen some of those out here as I've walked down the beach. So that's what I'm going to be trying to imitate and Flathead absolutely love that paddle tail. I'll show you how I work it here in a second. In terms of jig heads, I'm using a 2.0 hook. You can use a 3.0 hook as well um, and that's on a quarter ounce. So anything from about an eighth, a sixth or a quarter ounce is all you should need when you're fishing land based. You don't want to use something too heavy because that plastic's just going to plummet straight to the bottom and you want it to sort of waft back down nicely as you jig it. So in terms of the technique and how you work your lures guys, you're going to do a nice long cast out over that sand flat. You're going to let that lure sink to the bottom so I'm just going to wait for that. And then all it is, is a couple of hops like that. Now if I'm in a boat, I don't mind just giving it a couple of little flicks up off the bottom. But when I'm land based fishing and I'm down low to the water, I like to get that rod tip up nice and high, get that lure up nice and high off the bottom and it, that gives the flathead time to see it and come over and then on your next hop, they'll grab it. Now, while you're doing this, just going to be letting it sink to the bottom every time after you give it a flick and often when you get a bite, you'll just feel a little tick in your line as it's sinking down. So sometimes a flathead might hit it while you're jigging, but a lot of the time it's as soon as you stop and that lure starts to sink back down, they're going to grab it. So you'll feel a little tick, then you just have to wind up the slack in your line and strike. Now when I get to this structure today, I'm just going to wind over the top of it so I don't get a snag. But usually you could work that lure right back to your feet. You can also get them over drop-offs of sandbanks, but uh, today we're fishing this sort of structure. So anyway, all I'm going to do is walk up along here, give it some casts, fish those sand patches, and hopefully I can get a flathead. It's going to be nice and relaxing walking along in this nice, clean, warm water as well. So, beautiful.
Got one. There we go. Nice little flatty. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, well there we go. Bit hard to get photos by myself. That'd be a legal flathead. So I've been casting for about well oh, maybe 30 minutes, 25 minutes. I don't know what he was doing in the shallows there, jumping and carrying on. He was going nuts, but very good fun. Just catch and release today. He'd be absolutely delicious, but we're gonna let him go. So I'll just put my reel down here. Alright. Let's go let him go here. Beautiful fish, fun fight. Now just another quick tip for you guys, if you ever have any weed on your lure like this, even if it's just a tiny bit, make sure you get it off because the fish are going to see that and uh, they're not going to eat a fish that's swimming around with a bit of seaweed hanging off it. So make sure you pick that off, even if it's just a little bit, and uh, you'll be good to go. Well guys, the boat is ready to be picked up and that is the end of my session. It was under an hour, it was about 40 minutes of casting. See now that that tide's gone out and that's another tip actually the the tide going out is a great tide for flathead because they're going to sit over the drop-offs and edges of those banks and obviously the structure as well waiting for bait to be washed out through there and have to move out off the shallows and that's when they're going to ambush it so that probably worked in my favor as well only the one fish maybe one other hit but still a great way to spend a morning and i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something all right until next time don't forget to comment on the video and ask any questions you may have leave a like rating and make sure you subscribe for more and hit that notification bell there's plenty more on the way so anyway tight lines <laughs>